Hello everyone. Dear students, today we are going to do something very, 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 very interesting. And that is about uh, exploring the relationship between uh, triangular numbers and square numbers. So you know that what are triangular numbers? You have studied that in the chapter squares and square roots. In the beginning, we studied about triangular numbers. So basically, triangular numbers are a pattern of numbers that form equilateral triangles. And uh, you have observed how to calculate the nth triangular number by using the formula n into n plus 1 by 2. So let us first visualize triangular numbers on this dotted grid. So here you can see I have taken an isometric dot paper. So let me take one dot and uh, I'm putting the dot here. This is representing the first triangular number, which is one. So let me start filling the table also side by side. So T1 is the first triangular number. So coming back here, now we have to make the equilateral triangle. So I'm using the dots and trying to put the three dots. And you can see that this is the shape tool and I'm trying to make the shape here. So you can see here that uh, the second triangular number will be count the number of dots. It is three. So let me be back and write down T2 is three. So let us see how we are going to make the third triangular number. Observe the pattern. So it is one dot plus two dots plus three dots. Now you can see that using the shape tool, I can make an equilateral triangle by joining it. Fine. So can you tell me what is the third triangular number? Just count the number of dots. One, two, three, four, five, six. So coming back here and filling the third triangular number, which is six. So let us make the fourth triangular number. Let me take the dot from here. And one plus two, you get an equilateral triangle, plus three, and then plus four. So six were all earlier there. And four we have added, so we get 10. So fourth triangular number is 10. Similarly, if you add five to it, I'm just putting the dots here only after this. One, two, three, four, five. So you get the next triangular number. So add 5 to the previous number, that is 10 plus 5, gives us 15. So 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, so on. These are triangular numbers. Now I am going to write down about square numbers. So what are square numbers? You have done that in the chapter squares and square roots. Yes, when we multiply a whole number by itself. Yes, when you multiply a whole number times itself, the resulting product is called the square number. We call it as a perfect square. I hope you remember that. So let me come back to the dotted grid. And for this, I would be now using the square grid. And let me take the dot. And if I dot put one dot, this is the first square number. Let's come back here. So S1 is 1. So let me see the second square number. Put the dots. Here you get the square shape. Now you tell me how many dots are there. Yes, four dots. So S2 is 4. And we know that 2 square is 4. Now tell me S3. Choose the dot, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. So you see that here we have used nine dots. So the third square number is nine. Come back. What what will be the fourth square number? Let us draw this. One, two, three, four. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we have used sixteen dots to make the next square numbers. I know now you can guess which what is the fifth one that will be twenty-five. Fine. Now interesting activity is we have to see the relationship between the triangular numbers and the square numbers. Now closely see. When we add T one and T two, see T one plus T two. What is T one? T one is one, and what is T two? T two is three. One plus three is four, and what is this four? Four is the second square number. Okay, let me try another one. T two plus T three. Okay, what is the second triangular number? That is three plus third triangular number six. Three plus six is nine. Yes, you have guessed right. That is the third square number. Similarly, if we take T three plus T four, what do we get? T three is six. And T four is ten, so six plus ten is sixteen, and sixteen is what? Sixteen is S four. That is the fourth square number. So this way, when we will be keep on doing like this, and then we observe that this is the relationship between the triangular numbers and the square numbers. You can even visualize it. On this sheet also, try using this online tool. Here you have a square grid and you have a isometric grid also, and you can verify the relationship between different types of numbers. I hope uh, you have understood the relationship. Thank you so much.